Hey, it's Luxury Fred, and today I thought I'd do a... Dogs coming. Come here, Hans. Up. Come on. Up. Come on. Up, up, up. See? There's Hans. Say hi, Hans. This is Hans, the luxury dog. Goes with me on all my trips and helps uh, review things. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. So, uh, Luxury Fred here, and uh, I wanted to do a vlog today that was inspired by the video that I did uh, a few days ago, which was a tour of the incredible, amazing uh, presidential bungalow at the Beverly Hills Hotel. The bungalow has a published price of $17,000 per night. Yes, I said that. Seventeen thousand dollars per night. So I want to make, I wanted to make a vlog and kind of start a discussion and talk about: Is any hotel room really worth seventeen thousand dollars a night? And to be clear, this is not a rant against the Beverly Hills Hotel, and it's not a rant against extremely expensive hotel rooms or the people that that pay to stay in them. Um, I just want to talk about how absurd it was or how crazy it was to have a hotel room that is that expensive. And of course, it's not limited to the Beverly Hills Hotel. You have hotels all around the world that have expensive hotel suites. And let me interject right here that I'm a luxury travel and automotive writer. I'm not a rich guy, but I write about luxury travel, luxury hotels, all that. So I have a chance to fly around the world and stay in these crazy, crazy expensive suites. So a, a couple of these suites, like I was talking about, you've got $17,000 a night for the presidential bungalow, the Beverly Hills Hotel. But for that, you get basically a mini little mansion. It's about 2,000 square feet. It's got its own private pool. Uh, it's very well protected, you know, on the grounds of the Beverly Hills Hotel. And then you're steps away from the polo lounge. So you have almost instant room service, but you have, you know, privacy and security and all that kind of stuff. And in that case, you basically have a mini mansion with no shared walls and it's a small house, as you can see. Um, some other crazy expensive hotel suites I wanted to show and point out was the uh, two of the suites I visited at the Shangri-La Hotel in Paris. Uh, the Shangri-La Hotel was formerly the mansion, uh, the palace of Prince Roland Bonaparte, who was Napoleon's grand nephew, and has some fabulous, fabulous suites, including one of my favorites, this suite, which is the Imperial Suite. And this suite used to be Prince Bonaparte's private living quarters, and it's furnished with antiques and all that kind of stuff. And you can see it's an amazing space, and this goes for about $20,000 a night. Um, or here's a suite in Singapore, the Chairman Suite at the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. This goes for $50,000 a night, and this is essentially an enormous mansion on top of the Marina Bay Sands. Um, and again, it's just so absurd in that you have expensive hotel rooms, separate from these crazy suites. You have expensive hotel rooms that maybe are $1,000 a night or something like that or $1,200 a night. And maybe that's something that people would splurge on. Hey, it's our 50th anniversary and we're going to be in Paris, so I'm going to get us this room at the Shangri-La Paris that's $1,200 a night, but it has these amazing views of the Eiffel Tower. That's reasonable. That's something someone might splurge on. But no one is going to splurge, so to speak, on a hotel room that's $1,500. $20,000, $25,000 a night. That's a car for each night. So these rooms are rented by celebrities and billionaires and people that have so much money that that's, you know, to you and I, that's like spending $500 on a hotel room. They, you know, they don't care. So again, the purpose of this vlog, I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I just wanted to, when I was making that video about the presidential bungalow, it just occurred to me how absurd and how inaccessible something like this is. That 
no normal person is most likely ever going to stay in a in a hotel suite like this. So, you know, it's it's a pretty exclusive space. Another amazing suite uh, that I visited that's also about $20,000 a night is the Shangri-La Suite at the Shangri-La London at the Shard. So this is the best suite at that hotel, and it's an amazing space that takes almost takes up almost a full floor with these drop-dead jetliner views of London from your private mansion in the sky there. Oh, and uh, of course I couldn't talk about crazy hotel suites. And and by the way, you see the links up here. You can watch my, I visited all of these suites and I have video tours on my YouTube channel. You click the link and you can see the suites that I'm referring to. And I have to mention in the US, one of my favorites in the whole world is the penthouse at the Fairmont in San Francisco. And the penthouse is literally a mansion that was built on top of the hotel. It's an amazing 50,000 square foot space, as you can see, with a Turkish bath and a pool room and all, a library and all kinds of uh, amazing amenities. So the truth of the matter is that mo in most of these cases, the people don't pay $15,000 a night that those prices are kind of a, a marketing gimmick or hype so that the hotel can claim and that the word is out that, oh my God, this hotel has the most expensive hotel suite in London. It's $20,000 a night. It's $30,000 a night. So those are kind of prices used for bragging rights and, and things like that. Uh, a lot of times these are uh, corporate executives or celebrities. So if a, a big star is in Los Angeles to film a movie and he wants to stay or she wants to stay at the Beverly Hills Hotel, then the studio might negotiate a special rate for this presidential bungalow, for example. And they don't pay the published rate. Maybe they pay $5,000 a night or 4000 a night or, you know, something like that. And I think in a lot of these cases, if you're a billionaire and you're going to stay in one of these uh, suites that you would call the hotel ahead of time and you would say I want to stay there for two weeks what 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 deal will you make me for that because I I don't think you get to be a billionaire unless you're a good negotiator so again I think a lot of these cases the the prices that you see the prices that you hear are really hype and uh, the reality is is a bit lower it's still outrageously expensive but it's it's maybe a bit lower than than what they're priced at. Okay, so thanks for watching my uh, vlog about uh, whether any hotel room is really worth $17,000 a night. Uh, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, check out my blog at luxuryfred.com, and follow me on social media at luxuryfred. Thank you very much for watching, and also we're about to hit 30,000 subscribers here, so want to thank everyone that, that has subscribed, and I really appreciate the support.